Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to speed up your old laptop and give it a new life uh, just by replacing the regular mechanical hard drive to a brand new SSD. So I've bought bought a Kingston 240GB UV400 SSD. This is one of their base model SSDs and it's supposed to be around 10 times faster than the regular uh, mechanical 7200 RPM hard drive. Uh, 2.5 inch SATA SATA 3.0 although this laptop does not support SATA 3.0 but anyway you can see how slow this thing is it's still turning on I turned this laptop on around two minutes ago and yeah it's still booting up if I you can see the start menu is not even popping up It's slow. Trust me, guys. This one, this laptop is a first-generation Core i5. So let me just show you the specifications quickly. It's got a 500 gigabyte Seagate hard drive, which I replaced around five years ago, and since then it's done about five. Uh, it's done about more than 1,000 hours in power-on state. So this one's pretty old. It's still starting up. There's nothing wrong with the hard drive. It's just slow. So what I'm going to do here is clone the uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive onto this 241 uh, because it's around 130 gigabyte used so it will easily fit on that one. And then we're going to see the boot time and the um, sh shutdown and the boot time and the program launch time. Just a side note, this hard drive has done about 25,608 hours which totals to around 3 years. So yeah, not bad. Three years constant power on mode. This drive has more than enough hours. So let me show you the properties. So yeah, this one's running a core i5 CPU 560M, 2.67 gigahertz with 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, Windows 10 Pro, and genuine by the way. So yeah. And if I launch Chrome, you guys can see how slow this thing is. Still waiting. There we go. And yeah, just doing the general work on this laptop is pretty darn time consuming because it takes a long time just to launch the programs. So let me go ahead and clone the hard drive of this thing onto that one. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description of the tutorial so you guys can do the same to yours. Alright. Alright, let's see how long it takes for the laptop to boot up using the mechanical hard drive and I'll be timing this using my stopwatch then we'll insert the SSD and see how long that takes. So, let me just turn this thing on. So we're up to 50 seconds and we're still seeing the Windows logo. The hard drive activity is on. One minute.
So we're reaching about the two minute mark and it's still booting up. The hard drive activity light is on. I can hear the hard drive clicking inside. And yeah guys, I did an error test on the hard drive. It, it appears to be fine. There's no bad sectors. But yeah, this hard drive is just slow. It's still starting up. So it took around 2 minutes 30 seconds for us to reach the desktop and it's still starting up. You can see the icons are starting to appear now. So let's just move this here. Still booting up. Three minutes fifteen seconds, still starting up slowly. I pop the task manager. Yeah, you can see how slow this thing is. It becomes alright once the Windows has start finished booting up. But again, if you launch a program, say Word or PowerPoint, then it again becomes slow. Uh, this is because the hard drive seek rates and the hard drive um, data access rate are pretty slow. You can see the disk is being used 100%. RAM and CPU are free. The CPU is barely going up to 10%. So yeah, uh, I think that it has finished booting up. It's just doing its work. Uh, so I'll count that as around 5 minutes because it's still starting up. You can see the LED is on. So 4 minutes 40 seconds. So somewhere in the range of 5 minutes and if I launch Chrome it's again gonna take a long time so yeah guys I'll count that as 4 minutes 30 seconds on the mechanical hard drive so let me just close this and now I'm gonna replace it with the Kingston SSD and we're gonna see the exact same thing how long it takes for this computer to boot up and if you want to know how to clone the existing hard drive inside the laptop onto the new one, do take a look at the video description. I'll put a link down in the description of another video which shows on how to clone a old hard drive onto a new hard drive. So do take a look at that and we'll continue putting that hard drive in in this laptop because the cloning is almost complete. Uh, first, we're gonna take a image of the hard drive and put it on an external hard drive. Then I'm gonna insert this, copy the image onto the hard drive, and then we are good to go. So yeah, here is our old 500 gig hard drive. Yeah, like I said, it's a Seagate drive, 500 gigabytes. So let's get cutting. Here we go. Actually this thing is pretty lightweight. It's less than half the weight of the mechanical hard drive. Yeah. 
so what we need to do now is take this bracket off and attach it to this one so it should go on like this so set this aside So let's install this. And now we can go ahead and close the laptop up. Actually first should install the screw. Alright, here you can see the SSD is now showing up. Kingston SUV4400. Alright, now we can go ahead and start the cloning process. Again, if you want to know how this cloning process works, uh, take a look at the video description. I have included a full, I've done a, a tutorial before. So. Let's go ahead and turn this on and we should automatically boot into the USB device. There we go. Okay, so image restore. Browse for an image file. I'm gonna go to this PC elements, which is this one, and here it is. So we're gonna click restore this image. Select a dis to restore to the Kingston drive, which is this one. Select that. Click on next then click on finish and that's all you need to do and the restoring process has already begun yeah this is gonna take a while because the laptop just has a USB 2.0 port so we're gonna let this thing run and I'll be back when this thing is finished and then we're gonna do a cold boot and see the startup time all right so the restore is complete now we can go ahead and restart this close all right let's take a look at how long it takes for this laptop to start up using the SSD so let's see if I can get this simultaneously. Windows is booting up.
and yeah it'll take slightly longer for this computer to start up because this is first generation SATA as far as I know first generation core i5 so around say around 35 seconds for this thing to start up so I can launch Chrome and yeah it'll be instantaneous so it takes around uh, 35 to 40 seconds for this thing to fully start up you can see no lags at all should probably should stop that so yeah I'll consider this around 35 to 40 seconds and let me show you again this is a first generation core i5 2.67 gigahertz and yeah we're using the Kingston SSD Kingston SUV 400 again this will not perform uh, at its best because this thing is pretty old older SATA, SATA interface on this thing but yeah anyway the boot time has decreased drastically uh, earlier it took around 4 minutes 30 seconds and we're now down to around 35 seconds so yeah thank you guys for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these see you all later